What's going on? It's Phil here, and today we're with Nicholas, and uh, we're going to introduce another new vehicle into the fleet. Hey everybody, this is my uh, 1993 Jeep. Yeah, not much done to it. It's got like 300,000 K, pretty high. Got the four liter inline six, five speed, super winch, the Baja lights. Yeah, got the pretty shitty rubber on it. So hopefully, get some new tires on it soon. Oh, good. Maybe I'll let you turn on this thing and I'll uh... So what are we gonna do to it here? Well, we need a uh, back window. So, I don't know, it's, it's kind of f I think they're like 300, 350 bucks. So we're gonna make one instead. Yeah, out of plexiglass, because, well, they'll probably break. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. alternator's not charging. Catastrophic failure of the alternator here and the charging system. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that, at least look how easy that alternator is to change though. It's right there. It's basically all it was doing was working off of whatever charge you had on your battery that that boost pack gave it. Yeah, kind of expected for 300,000. Honestly, I think, I honestly think, this was rebuilt because it, like, oil doesn't even turn. It doesn't smoke any oil. It's, it's it very possible. It's really good when the ultimate is not So when I bought this Jeep, the hard top back glass was smashed out for some reason. So that fits right in here. So we have to unscrew it, pull out all the broken glass, put it back in here. I guess we gotta glue it and then it bolts We got a bolt here, and we got a bolt up here. So I'm just pre-soaking those high adhesive pressure resistant synthetic grease. There you go. Anything really. I mean, I, I like that deep creep stuff, but I don't have any. Okay. You can do this without breaking it. Sometimes, Phil, you gotta f around to find out. These are probably f***ing kibosh as well. I don't even think this piece Well, I, it does hold these. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. Pull the bitch up. There you go. 
glass. Yeah, that's always nice, isn't it? If you're doing this, wear gloves, unless you don't want to. Okay, these ones here are gonna be fun. They're probably, that one's the best shape of all of them. So what size did that end up being, 3 8 It's 3 8 okay. Rough as well. Most of it. Yeah, that seal. Oh, it's not bad. So that basically is. Oh wait. So don't pull that off yet, because we're gonna f use this as our little template to draw. Look at that, eh? Like, if it's gonna break from anywhere, it's gonna be right f in there. Well, what we're gonna do? We're gonna get the plexi glass. We're gonna obviously it come out to here. We're gonna trace that, I think, and then all that I need really, why I want to put it to here. To save this for the holes and shit and where it sits. Okay, I'll go get the glass. What I'm saying is that this, the glass goes upwards, of course. So I'm just going to line it up so that it's like flush with that underneath with this, the glass broke. So this is also on the glass. As you can see, this will, I don't want to pop that up, but, and then I'm just going to trace that and then. Butt it up with here because I know it'll for sure go in that hole as well. So this glass is, uh, it's all foggy and shit. That's because we got, of course, a layer of, um, I, I don't know what you call it. It's film. It's, yeah. It, so it'll come off once it's all ready. So this actually help us because our hands are dirty and shit and we won't get our glass off. Okay, so I'll line up one side then I'll have to do less cutting. I'm thinking. Okay, right there. Okay, I guess we'll try this and then we'll go check. I mean, ideally we would clamp it and all that shit, but plexiglass you can really play with. There, I'm just using that as a reference point, then we can pivot without it moving. So we got our holes cut, but the thing is now we've got to make it actually slightly bigger because now it has to slip in. Oh, she bit good. A little bit hard. That's tighter than snake. It looks good. <laughs> I tried calling you. Hey, there's no service in the shop, big gay. Break. Yeah, 
It's all in there. It's fine. Don't. No, it's got to be pressed up against. You got to pop it up. Where's the drill? Silicone and silicone. I do have a silicone guy. What are you looking for? The, the drill? drill. I just got to hone this for the big Just catching it, dude. Wait. Our shop rate is six dollars. <laughs> we can clean this off now. We'll glue the shit out of it, and then we'll do some trimming. I'm just gonna scrape this shit off. Um, kind of like best I can. Maybe get some new weather stripping when it's warm out, but it's cold. But I will scrape this off just so that we get a clean butt finish. To our local Home Depot. I said, hey, got a glue and a piece of glass for the Jeep, kind of describing what I was doing. This marine goop. So metal, fiberglass, and uh, glass as well. I mean, if it's for a marine, then it, it'll get wet. It's waterproof. And the other and part of it paint is, it, paint it's, it. Not, it's not gonna be holding the entire weight of it anyway. This is just more of a seal, so. That's all it is, so that the water yeah. doesn't get into the Jeep. For everything, like the glass, and the uh, glue was like 250 bucks. Compared to the regular glass, I'm still ahead. You wouldn't have been able to even use this this frame for it because it was all the screws were yeah, stripped and everything. Yeah, so it would have been 500 bucks. I mean, next time we probably would have done it different, but hey, now we know. I mean, there's a couple cracks from, like I want a tight fit, so. Well, it doesn't matter because it's not exposed anyway and it's not yeah. compromising it at all. Oh, me. There's another crack now, that's a big one. Frames assembled now, and uh, we just used some uh, new bolts all the way through. We got her in place here, just kind of roughly, and then it's gonna have to be trimmed along the side. So we scribed in sort of a rough draft where it needs to be trimmed. So now we're gonna go saw that out. Okay, it's a few days later, Mine's and uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch more snow now, so uh, it's gonna be fun, but yeah, we're gonna get it done today. We have to. Yeah. No snow got in here, thank God, and it's actually making heat. Kind of like a little song in there. So what we're gonna do is we can't take like a measurement like that, for instance, and uh, drill right there, that would be accurate. So what I'm gonna do is we'll get a ruler out here. I'll kind of go straight across and just kind of grab the center of that and in line with the bolt there. And then I'll put it down like this. And then that's about as accurate as we're gonna get. We're gonna, gonna, gonna do slightly bigger holes so we'll have some room to play. Gee, either way, we got some washers and that's all like a rubber gasket and everything. And uh, yeah, we'll repeat for the other side. Now that we've got the pilot holes drilled through, lined up, 
it's gonna make it that size. Well, we got it hung now. There wasn't really much to film there, but uh, basically just had to drill out the glass up here to uh, accommodate it's the holes and then it slides right in and it's nice and flush. We just gotta take off the plastic. I mean, it's not uh, like as full as what we wanted it, but one thing I would say is if you're gonna ever do this, do it when it's not cold out. Because we had a crack, which is a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. I would just recommend like probably like zero degrees and up. It's like minus 20 right now. Don't use a, what do they call it, reciprocal saw or something? Yeah, sawzall or whatever. I would use a bandsaw and uh, just take your time. That's really, and have two people because you can't hold this glass alone. It is quite a bit of weight, probably what, 20 pounds, but it's just, it, it's how big it is. It's just really to keep the snow out and to keep heat in and keep us dry and it'll work. Just a little bit short up here, but we can always figure something out for that. And can't open it because we got a 33 inch tire here, so we'll have to take that off. But either way, I'd like to get different bumpers and we'll want the tire holder. Then it'll bring it back a bit and then we should be able, it's, it's close, but, or even if you could back it out a bit, but that's what those have to do. So yeah, overall it's cheaper than 400 bucks because we would have needed a new one of these because we just drilled um, holes straight through and put bolts in. And uh, otherwise this is just flat, but yeah, it worked. I mean, we've never done this before, so. But the glue held really good. We well, won't have a problem with anything seeking in there. And then, yeah, I just say, when it's cold, it's so brittle. Yeah. That's why we have one crack, two cracks here. But it'll still work. Looks good, you can hardly even tell it's there. It's so clear, eh?